because the Lord has put that liberation in me. Because of the grace I've given this evil. Let me tell you, the only thing that can scare and put the devil off is the grace of God. I pray that the Lord will bless you, the Lord will guide you, and your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the Lord God Almighty. This is a day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank God for the joy of the Lord is the strength of my salvation. I want to welcome you this hour of manifest for manifestation. This is the hour when we expect and we are, we are ushered in to the manifestations of God. For this is the reason to why even the creations have been waiting for this. The Bible says even the creations have been waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And I believe in this moment and this hour, God has prepared something great for you and me. Welcome on board in the name of Jesus Christ. My name's are Ambassador Tony. I'm blessed of God. I'm a child of the Most High God. And I'm grateful to say one thing, that whatever is born of God must overcome the world. This is a gathering of diplomats. This is an hour when we gather in and say, we are a chosen nation, a royal priesthood, a people set apart for God's purpose. Hallelujah. You are a chosen a nation. I want to tell you today and that's why the reason why I speak and say we are a gathering of diplomats. It's a gathering of sons of God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to speak, some, uh, to speak something into you together as we share the word of God, that God wants you free. Amen. I've been speaking in the past episodes that God wants you free. And I say that the Bible says wisdom makes the face of a man to shine. Once you gain, you gain the wisdom of God and you begin to understand what God has freely given you. When you begin to understand your position in God, when you begin to understand who is Jesus in your life and you begin to walk with that revelation. Nothing will stop you anymore. Nothing will stand on your way because you possess the understanding of how things Walk in the kingdom of God. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. As we continue, praise the name of the Lord. I know the Lord is doing something in our midst. I know God is changing. I know God is still granting you, giving you turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, there are some, some of us who the devil knows us even by our names. Yes, this one reminds me about... The people would try to rebuke demons sometimes back there in the days of Jesus. And they said, Peter, we know. Jesus, we know. Paul, we know. And who are you? And I believe now as you begin to realize your identity in God and know that you are a child of God, praise the name of the Lord, you will possess that understanding that whatever is born of God must overcome the world. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, for as you begin to understand that God wants your free. The Lord say the reason people have the reason to why most people have so many problems is because they are not conscious of the enduring power of God in them. When you begin to be conscious of the enduring power of God, the power that the Lord has bestowed in you, when you begin to walk in that revelation, knowing what God has given you, Glory to God. What will happen when you begin to get that understanding? You know your enduring power. You know what God of the power that God have deposited in you. Amen. You will rise up and begin to rise it. Hallelujah. Let me say the name of Jesus should always be on your ribs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the enemy takes advantage of this and everyone keeps begging and binding something. You have the power when you begin to walk and to declare the name of Jesus. Just sing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just learn to keep on mentioning the name of Jesus as quite often as you can. Praise the name of the Lord. Not even the mentioning the issues of Satan. Well, the name of Jesus is everything you can pronounce and keep on saying. Hallelujah. Things will begin to work on for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. For you to have fulfillment with Jesus, you have to know how weak the devil is and put him where he belongs, hallelujah. Accept the fact that you have been praised over him, hallelujah. You are above and not beneath, hallelujah. The Bible says that we shall tremble over scorpions and serpents and the powers of the enemy, hallelujah. What do I mean? The devil is right under your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, is my prayer for you that this hour 
in this moment as I share the word of God. God will give you the revelation. God will give you the power to understand that the enemy is under your feet. And let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for my audience this hour. I give you glory for my viewers, Lord. I pray as I share your word, oh God, may you open the eyes of their understanding that they will be able to see, they will be able to comprehend, to understand what God you have created them to be, to understand their position in God, to understand who you are and what you can do once, Lord God, we surrender unto you. We give you praise and glory. I pray, use me as I minister this word of God. Use me for the glory and the honor of your name. Be exalted. I pray that I will decrease as you increase. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The title of my message to, to, tonight and this moment and this hour, hallelujah, and this afternoon, based on the timing of the presses where you are watching me. I know some presses are already in the morning and other presses are already in the evening, hallelujah. But here in East Africa, Kenya, it is lunchtime, hallelujah. This is our message that always preach in lunch our moment, hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yes, we need instruction to be free from the exertion and the distractions of the enemy, hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. This is your hour of freedom. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, I spoke in the past episode about you. God wants you free. Amen. And now I want you to understand in this moment, the theme and the title of my message this hour is that Jesus has fixed it. Hallelujah. I want you to know the reason to why God has been speaking to us in the past episode that God wants us to be free. Why does God want you to be free? It's because what you're afraid of, what you're running away from, what has been oppressing you, Jesus told me to tell you he has already fixed it hallelujah all you need is to know that hallelujah Glory to God. Amen. Just open your heart. God is about to pass across to you some standing laws and will set you up. You he will set you up. Hallelujah. He will set you up so that he will lift you to a height where the world will no longer be able to deny the fact that you're around. The world will not deny the fact that you exist. Praise the name of the Lord. Your presence will be felt. Hallelujah. Because God's power will begin to work within you. Your power, every presence that you enter. Hallelujah. Every press you step into, glory to God. They will acknowledge your presence, hallelujah. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Praise the name of the Lord. What do I mean as I continue in this hour of manifest or manifestation? I want you to possess the understanding that this is your hour of freedom. Hallelujah. It's your hour of liberation. It's your hour of freedom. For whomsoever the sun sets free shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. And remember the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, the Lord told us that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. What does that mean? The truth that you know, the only truth that you know is the truth that can set you free. If you don't know the truth, let me say one thing as the children, the children of God. Let me speak to your church right now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The truth that does not exist in your mind, in your heart, cannot set you free. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why the Bible says, to as many as believed him, to them he gave the power even to be called the sons of God. Today, I'll be speaking more of power. Hallelujah. Today, I'll be speaking on the power of God. As I say, Jesus have fixed it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What do I mean? No power is left for the devil. The devil has no power over you except that which you can give him. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why the word of God tells us, do not give the devil, do not give the enemy a foothold. Hallelujah. As I speak this, I want you to begin to see yourself through the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Why? Jesus became poor that you might be rich. Hallelujah. And that's what the word of God says. Hallelujah. He sent his word and healed all all our sicknesses. Hallelujah. He's the Lord God who forgives all your transgressions and heals all your sickness. I speak to somebody who have been trusting and believing God for healing. I came to tell you this is the hour of manifestation. As you believe in the word of God, God is healing you. God is healing you of that sickness. I see cancer being healed right now. I see God healing somebody of hepatitis. I see God healing somebody of tuberculosis. I see God healing somebody of 
of the wound that I've been, I had refused to heal. Hallelujah. I see God doing it again. I see God doing for you. He's doing it for you. Hallelujah. Somebody's getting, getting healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your hour of freedom. This is your hour of deliverance. This is the hour that God is giving you a turnaround. Hallelujah. For it's not over until God says over. Until God says it is over. Glory to God. Jesus have fixed him. Oh, Jesus have fixed it up. Jesus have fixed the devil. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid of him. For the Lord Jesus have already fixed him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why Jesus said on the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said all is finished. Glory to God. He closed that chapter. Hallelujah. The chapter of your sickness. The chapter of your poverty. The chapter of oppression. Jesus have, have closed it. Hallelujah. No power is left to the devil. Hallelujah. No power is left for the devil. I want to read from the Bible of God in the book of Romans chapter 13 verse number 1. Hallelujah. The devil has no power. Yes, the devil has no power. I repeat again, the devil has no power. Yes, he's a toothless bulldog. He cannot bite. Hallelujah. Jesus have said that whatever is born of God must overcome the world. Meaning I say today, the devil has no power. The Bible says in the book of Revelation that they overcame him by the word of their testimony and the power of the blood. Hallelujah. And the blood of the covenant, glory to God. Romans 13, verse number 1. The Bible says in, I read from the King James Version, hallelujah. The King James Version, the Bible says, Romans chapter 13, verse number 1. Let every, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. The Word of God says, let every soul be subject, praise the name of the Lord. Let every soul be subject unto the high powers. For there is no power but of God. Get me? For there is no power but of God. The powers that are ordained, I mean, the powers that, that be are ordained of God. Hallelujah. This speaks about authority. Glory to God. That every power that exists, hallelujah, in your life right now should be the power of God. Every authority that even that reigns in the land, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. For all authority comes from God. Praise the name of the Lord. All governors, praise the name of the Lord. I want to speak about power. Glory to God. For there is no power but the power of God. For there is no power but of God. Hallelujah. The powers that be are ordained of God. Glory to God. I want you to understand this. In this hour of manifest, no power is left for the devil. Hallelujah. There is no power but the power of God. I came to speak under the power of God. In the power of Jesus Christ. I want to speak. Be aid any kind of oppression that you have been through. I don't know. I don't I don't care whether it is whether it is ancestral spirit, whether it's witchcraft power. I came with a power that is more under uh, and is above all the powers. Hallelujah. The power of God will break it asunder. For the Bible says uh, the anointing of God breaks the yoke. For the anointing of God comes with the power of God. Glory to God. The power to break barrenness is here. The power to break all manners of infirmities is here. The power to give you a turnaround is here. The power to usher you and to take you to your destiny is here. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God also says in the book of Psalm 62. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory, glory to Jesus. I want to read in the book of Psalms chapter 62 verse number 11. I'm speaking about God's power. Hallelujah. Through God's power, the enemy have been fixed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood hallelujah there is healing mighty in the blood there is healing mighty 
in the blood. Yes, Lord. I want to thank God for the power that is in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Psalms chapter 62, verse number 11. Hallelujah. I lead also in the King James Version. Glory to God. Psalm 62, verse number 11. The Bible says, God has spoken once. Twice have I had this. Hallelujah. God has spoken once. Twice have I had this. That power belongeth unto God. That power belongs unto God. Hallelujah. God has spoken once, but twice have I had him. David said, he has spoken once, but I have had him twice. Praise the name of the Lord. What, have he, what did he say? That power belongeth unto the Lord. Power belongs unto God. I want to tell you one thing. Stop empowering that situation. Stop giving power to that sickness. Stop giving power to that condition. I came to decree and declare in the name of Jesus that power belongs to God in this month of November. Hallelujah. Stop empowering your situation. Stop saying that this decision, this disease have got no cure. Stop saying that this situation cannot change. I came to tell you power belongs to God. The power to give you a turnaround, the power to give you healing, the power to give you transformation. I came to say there is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, I want to tell you one thing. All the powers of the enemy have got no power. When Jesus speaks, every speaker that has spoken before becomes a noise maker. I came to tell you the power that you need to confess, the power that you need to submit to, the power that you need to surrender to and begin to say, that the power of the Lord have, the, have its way. Hallelujah. Begin to surrender to the power of God. Just tell the Lord, let your power touch my life. Let your power touch my prayer needs right now. Whatever you need. Hallelujah. This reminds me the woman with the issue of blood. When she touched the hem of the garment, when he touched the hem of his garment, the, the garment that Jesus wore, the Bible says, Jesus said, I felt power come off from me. And immediately the woman, the Bible says, her issue of blood, the blood that was oozing, stopped immediately. She had spent a lot on physicians, praise the name of the Lord. But when she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus, the Bible says, she was healed completely. I came to tell you today, this is the same power I came to speak about. The power that touched the blind Bartimaeus and the Bible says, he kept on shouting, saying, Jesus, son of Nazareth, son of David, have mercy on me and the more she, he kept on shouting the Bible says that uh, but in minus, the Bible says, Jesus said, let him come unto me. And the Bible says, the Lord touched his eyes and immediately, but Myers was healed. Let me tell you this afternoon, in this hour of manifest, there is power that belongs to God. I came to glorify that. I came to humiliate the kingdom of darkness and glorify the name of Jesus. And I know the Bible says, as we lift up his name, he shall draw men unto himself. What does it mean? The power of God, as you begin to confess, as you begin to declare, I know no other power, I know no other name, but the name of Jesus. I came to decree and declare, Jesus will fix that situation. Jesus will fix that problem. Jesus will fix it for you. I came to tell you, on your own, you cannot, but with the power of God, expect the unexpected. Oh, in the name of Jesus, this is only praise and time and the power when God does the impossible hallelujah when the impossible becomes possible when we engage the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God hallelujah what do I mean as I continue that's the devil is a toothless bulldog he's a toothless bulldog hallelujah he has nothing rigory with which to hurt you I came to tell you the witch doctors and have got no authority they have got no rigor authority to mess around with you. All you need is to call upon the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, those who shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved by calling only in the 
the name of the Lord. He you shall be saved. He will save you from that sickness. He will save you from your sickness, from your transgression. He will save you from your past. Hallelujah. There are lots of demon casting deliverance specialism as a result of not knowing the amazing truth of Satan's total defeat. Let me say this as I want to declare again this afternoon. There are a lot of demon casting and deliverance specialists. People who, be, who, who tend to, to behave as if they are the deliverance specialists. But I came to tell you, hallelujah, as a result of not knowing the amazing truth of the Satan's total defeat. Jesus defeated him. Jesus overcame him 2,000 years ago. All you need is to confess. All you need is to possess the understanding. At the mention of the name of Jesus, the Bible says demons tremble. Hallelujah. I came to tell you at the mention of his name. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. The Bible says and he was given the name that is above all the other names. Yes, at his name all knees shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. I came to tell you. Hallelujah. Even as you listen to me, as you watch me, whatever you are watching around the world, be it in China, be it in America, be it in Russia, be it in Rodwa, whatever you are watching, hallelujah, in Ghana, Nigeria, praise the name of the Lord. I thank God for our viewers who have been watching around the world. I came to tell you this hour of manifest. There is a manifestation of God. Once we begin to proclaim, to declare the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The devil should be the most unrecognized personality in any place where I am as a child of God. I want to say again, the devil should be the most unrecognized personality in any place where I am as a child of God. What do I mean as I continue? Nobody should take no notice of him hallelujah all pay any attention to him whatsoever glory to god hallelujah we are not here to to, to recognize or acknowledge the devil we are here to admit and to, to acknowledge the name of jesus hallelujah no other name but the name of jesus hallelujah no other power but the power that is in the name of jesus at the mention of that name demons tremble i came to tell you something all you need is to understand all you need is to call upon jesus the bible says hallelujah call upon the name of the lord and you shall be saved i came to say there and to declare there is power in the name of the lord hallelujah Hallelujah, glory to God. In the face of this truth, there is no power to, in the witch, to, with the witch doctors. Let me tell you, all this are lies from hell. Yes, let me tell you one thing. If you submit to witchcraft, to the witch doctors, if you are afraid of them, the power begins to attack you. They can bring you down. Hallelujah. But if you stand in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, just as Elijah stood with the name of the Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, and he's laying down all the, all the prophets, of Baal. What did he say? He told them, put up a sacrifice and I shall put in one. Hallelujah. And he told them, let us call upon God. The God who answers by fire is a true God. And the prophets of Baal, they began calling on their God. They began, they began calling on prophet on the God of Baal. They called Baal. They called him from the morning towards evening. He had not answered. Hallelujah. And the servant of God, Elijah, kept mocking them, telling them, oh, can you shout louder? Could be he's in the toilet. Continue shouting more louder. Could be he's still in the toilet or he's hanging around somewhere. And the more they called, they went along cutting their body, piercing themselves, cutting themselves with objects and knives. And the more they could, they could bleed, but nothing was happening. Hallelujah. They kept on calling. But when it came to the, to the evening, the Bible tells me, Elijah told them now, is, is my turn to call upon my God, the God of heaven. And what, the Bible, what does the Bible say? Elijah told them, can you dig a trench around my sacrifice? Around my, my sacrifice. Can you dig a big trench? They dug a, a deep trench. And the Bible says, Elijah told them, can you fill it with water? Make sure it is wet. Make sure it is cold enough. Praise 
the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The altar of the God of Baals was, was dry, but he never brought fire. Hallelujah. But Elijah said, dig a big trench around my altar. Hallelujah. And make sure you fill it with water. And the Bible says, Elijah looked upon heaven and he called unto the Lord. And the fire came from heaven. That is the God I came to declare this hour of manifest. I want to say, this is the God I came to declare. He says, I will answer, call unto me and I will answer. And I will show you greater things that you know it not. Neither have you ever seen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. As you call unto him. Just he says, call unto me and I will show you greater things. Hallelujah. That you know not. Hallelujah. That you have never seen. Glory to God. Just by calling, Elijah called him. Hallelujah. And God answered my fire. I came to tell you this hour of manifest. Hallelujah. I came to decree and to tell you children of God, there is a God in heaven who answers prayer. I came to decree and declare, Jesus have fixed it. Hallelujah. The Lord have fixed it for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But when you contact the truth, you keep on increasing. Hallelujah. Continue contacting the truth of God. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is the truth of God. Continue confessing it. Continue declaring, hallelujah, that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord, hallelujah. You have, you have a sickness or a situation that I've been oppressing you now. I came to declare right now. Begin to say Jesus is Lord. By his stripes I am healed. Begin to confess. I see the power of God hitting and transforming and giving a translation. God is saying God is transforming. God is giving you a revival. God is restoring whatever the enemy have, have taken away from you. Praise the name of the Lord. I see God restoring you. By your confession. Just begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Begin to say in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it. I resist. Hallelujah. I am healed in the name of Jesus. Why am I saying this? Hallelujah. All power is given unto me. Jesus said, Hallelujah. Let us live in the, in the word of God in the book of Matthew 28. Hallelujah. The book of Matthew. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Matthew 28, verse 19. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 28. Hallelujah. Verse number 19. Glory to God. I call upon the power of God right now. Yes, I know the power of God is in taking God is God is moving as I speak right now. I see the move of God. Hallelujah. Blind eyes are opening. Somebody eyes is being God is healing your eyesight right now. God is healing. There is an ear that could not hear, a mouth that could not speak. God is healing. God is touching you. Glory to God. I came to declare power belongs to God. Matthew 28, verse 18. What does the Bible say? And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Hallelujah. I came to say again, and Jesus came and spoke to them unto them. He spoke unto them saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Hallelujah. This is a Jesus I came to speak to you right now. This is a Jesus I serve. This is a Jesus who have given me my life. This is a Jesus who have brought me this far. Hallelujah. He said, all power now resides. Hallelujah. I came to tell you all powers now reside in one man and his name is Jesus hallelujah at the mention of his name demons tremble I came to tell you you need promotion call upon the name of Jesus I came to tell you you need deliverance call upon the name of Jesus right now God is delivering somebody right now God is healing somebody right now as I speak hallelujah praise the name of the Lord for all power is given unto me in heaven and on Earth. Jesus rules in heaven. He rules on earth. Hallelujah. I came right now to, I came to destroy. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and this is the reason to why the son of God was revealed that he may destroy the works of darkness, the works of the devil. This hour and this hour and this moment in this hour of manifest, this afternoon, may the Lord destroy may the Lord destroy whatever I've been oppressing you. I came to declare in the name of Jesus I decree right now. I came to destroy by the power of God. The power that is in the blood of Jesus. That skin disease is getting healed right now in the name of Jesus. Cancer is being healed right now. Diabetes is being healed right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Leukemia is getting healed. Hepatitis B is getting healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I say God is healing somebody right now. God is healing that back problem in the name of the Lord. Migraine headaches right now 
Those migraines are being healed in the name of Jesus Christ. God is healing that feet line now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody who's watching me in the hospital, you have got somebody, you have been saying, God touch me. I came to declare to you, the power belongs to God. Let the same power begin to heat. Let the power, praise the name of the Lord, whatever has been, you've been going through, the power of God is here. Hallelujah. I bless the name of the Lord. I want to say this as I conclude glory to God. Walk in this shattered truth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Walk in this shattered truth. Despise any fury that says there is any power anywhere else that can stop you from doing what God has sent you to do or become. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I shall I now walk in this shattered truth. Praise the name of the Lord. I've prayed for you. Hallelujah. And I want you to continue subscribing. Praise the name of the Lord. We are in the YouTube. Continue subscribing there. Hallelujah. Liking what we are doing. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us spread the name of Jesus. Let us spread it. Subscribe in the YouTube. Praise the name of, of, of the Lord. And keep on sharing. Glory to God. Tagging other people. Let us make sure the power of Jesus is spread in the world. And let me say this as I conclude. After we have preached this, then the end shall come. I came to tell you no other name, no other power but the power of Jesus. God God bless you. Shalom, shalom. See you then. Bye-bye. Amen.